much for coming and watching another story time video with me and Tony Tiger. Welcome back to Books with Me and Tony Tiger. Are you alright Tony? You're a bit quiet today. Oh, he's very excited to see what book we've got today. So am I Tony. I think we should just get straight into it. If you like our story time videos and would like to see more please hit that subscribe button and you'll get notified each time that we post a video and you can also look back through our old videos on our channel can't you Tony? Yes. Today's book is the wonderful Franklin's Flying Bookshop by Jen Campbell and it's illustrated by Kimi Hartnett and I can already tell that this book is going to be a great book for us to read so I hope that you enjoy reading it as much as I am going to. It looks beautiful. It looks truly fantastic. Flying bookshop. Let's go. Are you comfy? Are you cosy? Are you ready? Franklin loves stories. Stories keep him warm at night. His front door is a bookcase that keeps out the wind. Very clever, Tony. There are lots of books inside the cave that Franklin lives in. He likes to read them out loud for everyone to hear. What a nice dragon. I would like to be his friend. Every day, Franklin reads about King Arthur and roller skating, about electricity and baking. He reads about spiders and ballet and how to do kung fu. When the sun goes down, Franklin reads by the light of a thousand fireflies, because fireflies like to hear stories too. But if it's a warm night, he spreads his wings and flies into the sky to read by the light of the moon. I like Franklin. There is a village near Franklin's cave. Sometimes Franklin goes there, but it is always quiet and it is always empty and he can never find anyone to read stories to. Oh dear. Yeah, I'd let him read us a story, Tony. So Franklin goes home and reads about gymnastics and helps the bats in his cave set up a trapeze. Then he yawns very loudly and stretches his tail and climbs into bed with a cup of chamomile tea. He sleeps tucked up under hundreds of comics and dreams about Vikings sailing over the sea. One day by the stream, Franklin sees a man. What are you? cries the man, quaking in his boots. I'm Franklin, says Franklin, and he holds out his hand. I'm a dragon who loves books, and I live in a cave. But the man drops his fishing rod and runs far away. <gasps> so Franklin goes home and reads about music, and helps the mice in his cave start up a band. Next day by the farm, Franklin sees a lady. What are you? cries the lady, shivering on the spot. I... I'm Franklin, says Franklin, and he holds out his hand. I'm a dragon and a band manager and I like ballet. But the lady screams loudly and runs far away. Nobody wants to be Franklin's friend, Tony. That is quite sad. Oh, so Franklin trails home and reads about space and helps the fireflies make patterns like the stars in the sky. Next day in the woods, Franklin sees a young girl. She has bright red hair, the same colour as the leaves. She's reading a book sitting under a tree. <gasps> Who are you? asked the girl, jumping up to her feet. I, I, I'm Franklin, says Franklin, and he holds out his hand. I'm a dragon who likes stargazing and playing croquet. I love dragons, cries the girl, and she shakes Franklin's hand. You're in this book that I'm reading about a faraway land. <gasps> Luna tells Franklin she's read about remote secret islands, about treasure hunts and pirates, about fruit bats and acrobats, and how to be a spy. <gasps> Franklin tells Luna he's read about sword fighters and fire eaters, about circuses and anteaters, about flower arranging and carousing and making apple pie. 
Luna and Franklin feel like they are made out of stories. Stories with exciting beginnings, thrilling middles and very happy ends. Stories about new people and strange places and about making friends. They want to share their favourite books with as many people as they can. So they sit down together and come up with a plan. What a beautiful book. They hoist bookshelves up high with the help of the mice and tie ropes round and round to make sure they fit tight. They move a sofa, some cake tins, tie comics on with string to make a small lopsided bookshop between Franklin's wings. <gasps> Everybody climbs on board. Luna holds her breath. The mice hold each other. The fireflies gasp and the bats cross their toes. Franklin bends down low and runs as fast as he can. He sprints down the hill and spreads out his wings and takes off into the sunset with the help of the wind. Franklin lands his flying bookshop in the middle of the village. It's that dragon, cries the fisherman. What a monster, another cries. His name is Franklin, shouts Luna, a fierce look in her eyes. We built this bookshop together from the books in his cave. Franklin's kind and he's clever and he is my friend. There is a small sign. Franklin shuffles his feet in the quiet street. It's nice to meet you, he says as he waves at the crowd, who have stopped in their tracks and are listening now. We have lots of stories that we'd love to share. Please come say hello and pull up a chair. The fireflies light up the shelves. The bats cartwheel along the bookcases and the mice clear their throats and start singing songs. It isn't long before the villagers start taking a look, climbing up onto Franklin to peer at the books. Franklin takes a deep breath as Luna passes out cake. He tells him stories about scientists and Antarctica and snakes. He whispers tales about dragons and how to make creme brulee and everyone is listening to what he has to say. Let's fly, Luna smiles as the fireflies dance and the acrobatic bats show off their kung fu. So they all hold up tight as Franklin takes flight, reading books by the light of the moon. The end. That might be one of the best books I have ever read. Do you have a favourite book? Thanks so much for coming and enjoying another story time with me and with Tony Tiger. We hope that you love that book as much as we did. And we will see you next time for our next story. Bye bye.